Today, the vars built-in function in Python 3. So let's start with a look at the docs. vars takes an object as its only argument, and it returns a dict attribute for modules, classes, etc. And if you do not pass an argument to it, without an argument, vars acts like the locals function. So first I'll show you vars without an argument. That is the same as if we wrote locals. I have a whole other video explaining the locals function, so you can go check that out if that interests you. Now let's use the vars function with some objects and see what we get. So we could wrap it around string or dict, or we could import the math module and wrap vars around that. And it's giving us a lot of information. But I think one of the main ways people tend to do it is with classes. So you could write a car class. Um, let's just say speed equals 100. OK, so here we have our car. And we can wrap the vars function around that. And here we have uh, the dict for the car. So this is the exact same thing as if we did dict that way. Another way we could use the car function is with instances of the class. So say uh, we had C for car, and this is our instance. We can wrap vars around the instance as well. And again, this is the same thing as if we wrote out dict here. Now I want to do another class-based example. So this one we'll call fancy car, and we're going to leverage the init function and we're going to create some default values here. So we do self a equals 5, b equals 10, and add the self.a here. Great, so now we have our fancy car, and we're going to create an instance of fancy car. And when we wrap vars around fc, we get a nice clean printout of the values. Oh, and once again, that vars fc is the exact same thing as if we did dict. So be sure to check out that locals video, and thanks for watching.